Yeah, I mean, one of the stats you said there, 112 passes. Bearing in mind, Spurs only made, well, only, Spurs made <laughs> 634. That's, you know, that's ridiculous. The amount of those passes that actually came from Basuma just shows how integral he was. He was the hub of everything they do. And I must admit, I know we've said this about a few players since, but I did get Dembele vibes from Basuma yesterday. There was a real kind of mastery of the pitch, a dominant performance of players on the opposition just being unable to get even near him, let alone take the ball off him. Um, He just always looked in control, whether it be on the edge of his own penalty area, like you said, or whether it was on the edge of the other penalty area. Um, it was it was superb. I know there's some question marks about whether he can will always be able to operate as a number six and whether they will need a more def- really defensive-minded player there at times against certain opposition and whether he might switch to an eight. And to be fair, that's what Postacoglu said. You can see him in a few different roles. Um, because you know, there's some games where maybe you would think you'd play Basuma and let's say Benton in the future, and maybe someone like Skip would sit in the, the holding role, uh, if you were playing a team that are going to absolutely fly at you constantly. But I think Basuma could end up being the real figurehead of this Postacogla era. He's got the potential to it, he's got the talent to do it. He looks so much back to the Brighton version of Basuma, which is brilliant but yet can be even so much more than that. Um, I love his dribbling ability. It's superb. His, I mean, yeah, three shots on goal, one key pass as well. And I love the fact that behind the scenes, I know that Postacoglu has really been stoking him up like a furnace. He's been telling him how brilliant he is, how important he is to Spurs, and how much he wants him to really set an example for the rest of the players, and especially the younger players as well. He wants, I mean, it's this month, later this month, uh, Basuma turns 27 so he's not a young player anymore he's got to be a senior kind of figurehead and I think maybe there's just been this sense in his career of I don't want to say like he's one of the lads or something like this but there's been a sense that maybe he's he's a funny guy he's a jokey character and there's just been maybe a sense that a, a talented guy that maybe doesn't lead the team and I think Postacoglu has kind of said to him now it's time for you to do that it was interesting that he didn't name him among those, the, the captain, the two vice captains, but wants him to be part, I think, of that growing new leadership group and to, to start inspiring the other players. And Because I asked um, James Madison about him out in Thailand before that ill-fated uh, game against Leicester that never happened in the end. Um, and he said that Basuma is one of those who'd really surprise him in training, how good he is. He didn't realise quite how good he was. And he said... He told me when we were talking about that as well. And he said, you can see how demanding he is in training session, how he talks to everyone, how he wants this and he wants that. And he's constantly chattering away to everyone about how he wants the game to be played around him. And that's that's a leader. That That's a midfield general kind of type. Um, and that's what's fascinating about the whole Postacoglu change behind the scenes is that we've been used to a leadership group that was very much Hugo Lloris, Harry Kane, um, Eric Dyer, Pierre Mulhoybier, and I think Skippy was starting to come into that as a younger rep- a, a representative of the younger players while learning to be part of the, the group, uh, leadership group. That has now transformed. And, you know, you've got Sonny, Romero, Madison's come in, uh, and I, I presume Basuma is going to start moving towards that leadership group. I think Skippy may still be part of it as the youth representative. Um, I think everyone sees Skippy as a potential future kind of leader of the team um so yeah i think that's really interesting as well seeing this brand new aspect i think basuma is going to be just a huge part as long as he can steer clear of injury he's going to be a big part of things and postacoglu said he was superb yesterday said he'd been outstanding throughout pre-season this was just kind of a the, the continuation of that as well um and yeah i really liked his partnership with madison as well you know, I spoke there about Madison praising him a couple of weeks back. And do you get the impression those two are going to be the fulcrum of the Tottenham midfield this season? 